Good morning, fellow traders, and happy Friday to you all. This is Doug Campbell with Rateway Options, coming to you with the morning market preparation video for July 6th, 2018. So yesterday was much like the rest of the week, just lots of chop, lots of whip. If we look at it, this is the Dow uh, or the diamonds. If we look at a 15 minute chart, you can see yesterday we uh, just we gap up, whipped all the way back down, whip up, whip down, whip up, whip down. <laughs> <laughs> all day long it was just a seesaw back and forth volume again was light as a lot of the the big firms traders are just not at work and that um, is causing uh, lots of whip in the market um, no direction and you know it was pretty much expected you know I've spent the better part of two weeks um, issuing warnings and caution and hopefully some of uh, some of those who, who have listened to this have heeded those warnings and protected your capital and avoided your money being chopped to pieces um, in this week as we've just experienced whipsaw after whipsaw um, in this market now that doesn't mean we haven't traded and um i just want everyone to know we have had um positions that we've held for a while as a matter of fact as of yesterday um, not one of the positions um, currently being held is showing a loss we have unrealized gains across the board in our uh, trades and um, so i will be much more focused on looking for profits and taking profits today then i will be uh, focused on adding new risk ahead of the weekend let's keep in mind those trade tariffs just kicked off today and there is a high probability that we're going to see a lot of rhetoric being tossed back and forth uh, from china and u.s um, as they continue to threaten additional and more and all kinds of things um, on those trade tariffs. So a lot of uncertainty as we head in to the weekend. Let's hope next week we'll see volumes kick back up and we should. All of those traders will come back from their um, extended holiday vacations. That should improve. We should also see... Um, um, uh, things maybe start getting a little bit different focused um, in the market because we're going to uh, move into um, uh, the earnings week where we're going to have um, by Friday of next week we will start seeing earnings from some of the major banks and that will start to shift the focus of the market a little bit and maybe off of the political uncertainty for just a little while. This morning, we're looking at the futures gapping down. Hey, big surprise. Rallied up yesterday, gapping down this morning. Um, right now, Dow futures are pointing to just short of a 100-point gap down. But remember, um, we have a couple of big reports this morning coming out. Let's jump right into that. A couple of big reports this morning, the employment situation number, which is expected to show very strong employment uh, numbers according to consensus. And actually the rate may tick a, even a little bit lower. The overall rate took a little bit lower down to 3.8%. Amazing. Um, showing tremendous labor strength. Um, international trade is also expected to show a very huge cut in the um, in the gap of um, in our trade war with exports rising dramatically and imports uh, um, rising but very small in uh, their increase. So maybe a change is happening um, in that trade deficit situation. Let's take a look at the indexes themselves here. Indexes themselves, we're still in this chop zone. Um, very wide ranging chop zone. Lots of whip, pretty ugly trading um, in here. And right now, the, the best we can say is at least we're holding above support. And we're stuck here below resistance. So <clears throat> if we look at the moving averages, you can see yesterday we just barely hang on, hang, um, clung to that 200 day moving average, that kind of purple line right there. Um, the uh, 50 day moving average <clears throat> is still above us here on the Dow. 
and any rally toward that 50-day moving average should be watched closely as a potential for a failure point. So we'll have to watch that really, really closely. Notice that the 34 exponential moving average, the 20 uh, moving average are, are both headed down to cross below that 50-day. So hopefully... Um, we'll see those bulls push that up and we can recover that but i would be really watchful of that resistance area as a potential for a failure point so be careful how uh, you approach the market if we look at the spy spy is a little bit different situation spy held up quite a bit better yesterday and moved up a little bit toward this resistance area we're not trapped quite so uh, in the middle between that uh, support and resistance zone we're moving up toward that upside but again this morning we are gapping lower so keep in mind we are gapping lower uh, this morning moving back down here toward that middle of that range um, let's see if that holds throughout the morning the good thing is is we are above the 50-day moving average we recovered that yesterday and this gap down this morning, it looks like we will still, at least with the gap down this morning, be above that 50-day moving average. So the SPY is in better condition for sure. And hopefully it can take some leadership and lead us out of some of this mess. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs also stronger <clears throat> Then even the SPY holding above the 50-day moving average this entire time and hanging on to this support level right in here. This support level is pretty critical um, to the market. As you can see, just holding on there, we need to hang in and move on through. I do have the worry that we, right here, I do have the worry that we could run right into this resistance level right in here. But we'll worry about that as we approach it. So far, we're just holding above that 50, and that's a good thing. Let's take a look at the IWM. IWM <clears throat> performed really well yesterday, the strongest of the indexes. Notice that we have never crossed back down below that 50-day moving average holding up. So the small caps remain um, pretty much immune to the, the trade war worries. And um, as we run back up here to test this resistance, which we did yesterday, test this resistance, we're gapping down a little bit. A pop through there could definitely help us uh, begin to move this market a little bit higher and maybe alleviate some of these worries. But again, be real careful as we head into the weekend, um, take, carrying too much risk with the rhetoric that's flying on both sides of the, uh, of the trade war. Let's talk um, just quickly about the VIX. The VIX has just been almost as confused as the overall market. But yesterday with the rally, it did finally break and close below this level right here this has been serving as support or resistance here for a while and yesterday we did finally close below that but now with the gap down this morning we could see those fears start to creep back in so um, be careful this area right in here is going to be important it's that battle zone that we we are still trapped in that we hopefully will get out of maybe next week um, let's take a look at t21 22 t21 22 that four week new high new low ratio Oop, wrong chart and you can see with that rally yesterday we extended way up here we're getting really really close to that bearish reversal zone now this morning we're gapping down so that will alleviate some of that pressure but it's surprising to see how much we climbed um in in just just that move yesterday and and how strong that move really was so um watch this up here we're reaching that area where we could see that reversal if we do find more upside remember with that earnings i mean with that um, economic data to, today anything is still possible currently we're still looking at a gap down open but that could certainly change really really quickly uh, on that news um so let's watch that closely this morning as those big reports come out on the earnings calendar today we only have three companies reporting earnings um nothing much going on there um on the earnings front so um 
not too much to worry about um, there. None of those would be expected to move the market today. So with that, folks, hey, I would like to wish you all a fantastic day and, and I wish you great profits. I know I know this has been a challenging market and it's it's always frustrating when the market's like this. I mean, we're traders. We want to trade. But sometimes we have to recognize the market condition and we need to um, avoid um, trading when the market is just not in a good position for us to trade. So tomorrow I'm actually doing an e-learning session on that, uh, on evaluating the market condition and I'm opening it up to the public. Everyone is invited. Um, you'll find in the link below uh, a, a link to that class. Now that class will be at 10 a.m. Eastern time, Saturday morning, and um, you're invited to, to, to come. So please uh, take a look at that if you're interested. Everyone, hey, if this is the first time you've seen these uh, videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. That helps me out a lot. And by the way, I truly do appreciate those comments. You guys have been very kind. And also, please feel free to share this video with any friends or family that you might think could benefit from this information. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, a even better weekend. Take a, have a good rest and we'll see you all right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care now.